Hi everybody. It's me, Patty. <laughs> okay, I'm working in the journal, so that's what this is about today. I'm fixing to make a pocket, a unique kind of pocket to go right here that will flip out like an extended page, but not. I'm making a pocket here and a pocket here. But I'm going to use this thing that I made to give me the square that I need. So I'm trying to estimate how wide it needs to be. So I'm going to say right there looks good. So we're going to lightly draw a line. Wait, never mind. <laughs> there. 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 And I now I've got that one, so now I need to turn this so we get the same position. Okay, I'm going to say right there. I think that's good. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to measure. You can measure if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just using a perfect squared pocket to make my squares. Now I'm going to cut that out. The way I'm going to cut it, I could use my ruler and a um, a uh, exacto knife, but I don't want to. I'm just going to use my little guillotine thing in the jiggy, and hopefully for the best, it'll work. Hopefully. There's a little line on each side here. There's one that goes straight through, but I have this line right here that connects to it, and that's how I'm able to stop. It went past it just a little bit, but that's fine. You know what? I think I will do a... Well, I don't know. It might be okay. I'm going to just continue on. Just getting my little line connected with it. Go up. There we go. Okay. Turn it. Hopefully I'm in the in the light for you here. Now I may not get very much done on camera, but I will try and do it off camera if I have to. I'm going to do it this side because I'm a righty and it makes it easier for me to grab a hold of and all that good jazz. Right about there. Okay. Almost there on that one. What I'm trying to do is make see-through pockets. It's this is the pockets that I was talking about that I created. Mine aren't the kind of like exactly like uh, Roxy Creations. Mine's are a little different. Like this. This is how my pockets are. <laughs> oh, I didn't get far enough on that one. Okay. Go back down on there. Yeah, it's okay. Went a little bit further than I should have. Okay, now what I'm going to essentially do, I'll keep this for something else. I don't know what. But I'm going to put some of that vellum in here on this side. And I'm going to make a pocket out of the vellum so that I can open it and close it and it'll be a little see-through pocket. You see what I'm saying? It's it's going to be a see-through so you can see your whatever you're putting in the pocket. So it's a see-through pocket, and it is a pocket, but it's a see-through window at the same time, and it's a page. So and it's hard to explain. Anyways, yeah. Make sure I didn't do that while it was closed. But yeah. I know I tend to go around the mountain because to me it's worth all the effort because I love my journal making. I like to put that little bit of effort into stuff. Other people might not do that. They might do this. This is how I do things.
See, there's a line that goes over this thing here, and there's a line that goes all the way over on the sides of the the uh, little um, blade. And so it lets me know right where to stop. And the little wire in here, this little wire down in there, I can go halfway without closing it down all the way. I See, I got my finger underneath here so the blade's not touching and poking. And I'm just hovering right over where my lines are. So I get it just right, making sure this is flat, push through so it, it pops that. And then right there. Whoop, missed. Did I get it? Okay, there we go. Now turn it. Oh, I caught it before it flattened itself on there. Wrong side again. Hang on, y'all. Gotta flip it around. And the reason why I do it this way is on this side is because it's just easier for me. Because I'm a right handed person and it just makes it easier for me to work with my right hand. If you are a left handed person, then you can use the left hand to do it. Doesn't mean I'm doing it any different than you would be. There we go. So now I've got my two pockets. Or two openings, I'm sorry. I have my two openings. There we go. And when I put this in here, after putting the pocket together, it's going to have a pocket up here, by the way. Back here. It's going to be between here. There's going to be a pocket back here for a big journal card or something. Or I can make it here on this side. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. But this is going to be able to flip open like that. Okay? If that makes sense. So, okay. Now we're going to open this all the way up. Put that over there out of my way. Okay. Now, I need vellum. So, I'm just going to grab some plain vellum. Just going to grab a whole bunch and put whatever I don't need back into the drawer. So, it's not a big deal. Now, I'm going to estimate how big of a piece I need. See how it reaches? See, it goes all the way across. I can fold this piece over and waste hardly anything. But I need to estimate right where it bends so that I have plenty of support for this pocket. Now, I need to mark it here so I know where to cut it. There we go. Let's go ahead and cut that get that done. that flat down. This is the hard part of getting it flat. Because it is vellum. Vellum gives you a little bit of issue sometimes. Oh, I got something on my, my little trash thing. There we go. Okay. Now it's cleared off. Now I can <laughs> Okay. So now that's just where I want it. go. Now I'm just going to fold this over. There we go. And now I'm just going to mark right on both sides here and here where to bend it. Okay. And I'm going to use, guess what? I'm going to use my score pal. If you have one, if you don't, um, you can use, I'm trying to remember what was it that I used before. I'm trying to remember. If you can find any of these cutting cutting pads, save them because if they're broke, ooh, don't rip your thing, Patty. If they're broke, you can use this little line here that'll give you a scoring place. Okay? And just get you something with a very, very thin. I mean, this might fit in there, but well, I guess it will. So you can use one of these. You can use one of these because it has the real thin. See, let's see. Yep, see, it won't come out of there. Or if you have, if you don't even have that, I used, let me see if I can find it. Well, these are at the Dollar Tree. These are just those things with those little round tips on the ends of them for jewelry making, for nails. Or these are also, this is what these were. I think these are meant for that. Hang on. I guess I'll have to come down so you can see it. Anyways. Okay, come on, camera. Come on. Those things. See? 
There's a little one on this side, and there's a bigger one on this side. These are good for scoring in these little grooves, too. See, that one fits down in it. <laughs> this one does grab it, see? So you can use those. These are also used for sculpting, too, for people. If, if you didn't know that, they're meant for sculpting as well. That tool that I just showed you. It's also used for sculpting. Um, it makes the eyeballs. Oops. So I'm just going to use the little thing that this comes with. And I'm going to find my little score spot and see if I can find Yeah, It's not going to level out with the next one. So I'm going to bring it to meet one. Right there. That one meets up with my one right there. And I'm just going to barely press. I don't want to press too hard. Just barely want to give it a little bit of a groove start, as they say. And always, when you when you score on this side, fold it that way. So whatever you want to fold that certain way, make sure you flip it over and do it on the opposite side. That's how I've learned. That's what I've learned a lot. Okay, I might have to I might have to score this side. For some reason, vellum don't work like paper does. So I guess I'll score this side too. Just don't want to press too hard because it can rip your paper. It still don't want to bend exactly in that spot. Oh, I hear my cat. There we go. Now I'm going to cut that excess off. Oh, let me put that back on here. Put this up. Okay. And remember, you can save that piece of vellum. Don't throw it away. Don't be wasteful. <laughs> No offense, but I am very, very stickler about don't waste because, you know, I can barely afford half the things I have now. Okay, so now we have this. Okay? Now, what we're going to do with that and this is we're going to glue this backwards. See? Like this. Let me get this where you can see it. Here's the fold. It's open. Wide open, as you see. This is how it's going to go in my journal, just like this. I mean, it's going to go like that, <laughs> fold it up, and it's going to be glued here. It depends on where I put my back pocket. But this is going to make my pocket. So if I want it, well, actually, I'm going to turn it this way. That's right. Because I don't want to have to make more than one cut. This is the fold already. It's already folded, so you'll just put that down in there. Fold it to see if it's going to fit without any edges showing. Yeah, I think it's good to go. So now I just need to glue it down. And here's my pockets. And when I glue it down, we'll have a pocket here of vellum. And this vellum will strengthen this. It'll make these not so weak like that. The vellum is real stiff to begin with. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to glue this side. Instead of gluing it on here, we're going to glue it on here. You can use Fabri-Tac if you want to because it's a silicone. It won't buckle it. I'm going to use this art glitter glue for it. Um, hopefully, yeah, there we go. It's already good to go. And I'm just going to glue here. I'm going to glue here. Because our vellum is going to glue to this paper. Why is my cat meowing constantly? Oops, missed. Don't get the glue on there, Patty. We'll get right on that bend because I want to make sure that it doesn't move. Now I need to move this off of that spot and wipe it off. I hit my stuff and got glue all over my hand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in that corner down in there and slowly bring it in on it. Just like this. Making sure my bend is on the inside, the little curve of it. Push that down, making sure not to get any of the glue on the outside. Oops, I think I just ripped it. I did. I ripped it, see? It ripped. Try to be gentle. 
because this paper is very, very sensitive because it's so thin. My cat's like meowing at me. <laughs> Sounds like a kid. Oh, I'm going to have to put something there to hide that because I did mess it up. I put too much glue down. That's what it is. That's what the inside will look like. My cat won't hush. Okay, now I'm going to leave this open and this open. I'm not going to glue those spots. Just the U shape here and the U shape over here. Leaving this open, okay? So we're going to go all the way near the edge because I want it to close it. But I want it to also give it plenty of room. I'm just going to do a big U first. Big U shape. Getting right close to the edge. And then I'm going to also get right here by this little edge. And then here I'm going to do the same thing. Get right by the edge. Put one right in the center. One right here by the edge. So I got glue on this edge and one on that edge. There we go. Not putting any here and here. Now we're going to take this and we're just going to close it up. Well, I'm just going to take this piece and close it over. Just like that. Hopefully it works with me and doesn't give me issues. There we go. Glue is trying to come out a little bit here and there, but that's okay. Just keep an eye on that. Make sure you don't get it on your piece that you're working on. I don't know how Dina does it. How she keeps from getting glue everywhere. <laughs> well, she does. She gets it. She, it pours out of hers. She's even noticed that herself. Now see, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to, uh, let me think. Yeah, I think it's going to go like this and then be able to open up. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, I've got a rip right here where I didn't get it flush. And as you can see, my vellum even kind of stuck out up here, but not down here. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, I didn't get it flush. There's actually a gap there. That happens. So all I have to do, nobody will be the wiser if I just cut that little piece off. I'm just going to cut it to where it's flush. Just like, just get right there by that, that paper. Right by the edge. If I can get, uh, stay on the cut, that one, come on thing. There we go. There we go. So that one is done. It's only going to be one. I don't know why I said that one's done. So I do want to let this dry a little bit because it's still buckling a little. But also need to think about what I want to put here. I might put a tab here instead, you know, but this is where it's going to go. It's going to go right here. I need it to have something. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. It's got to go like this, I think. Because this is where your pot, because I don't want it to have problems going in this way. So I want it to be on the outside. So I'm going to glue this pocket down to the page. This time I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. And I want the extra pocket to probably go this, no, I'm going to make it go this way, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe I will, because this is going to open like this, and you'll still be able to see this through. I think I'm going to go this way after all. Okay. So I'm going to use this to go by because this you might not know where it is on the eggs, you know, on the edges where it's going to sit. So remember, remembering, I'm having to remember that this is the side I don't want to glue. So I'm going to put my hand there. I got to wait for my glue to come down. I just got to remember to flip it. Just getting it right near the edge. And this is going to be a big pocket, so I'm not worried about going in between. There we go. And this being 
uh, fabric tack that I have instead of fabric fix yeah it's not going to make a big grovy you know mess out of it okay this is the hard part it's getting things right where I had planned them to be there we go. Right there. And the good thing about Fabri-Tac is I have room to move it if I need to. There we go. Now I'm just going to press and then close the page and press down so it will adhere and flatten out and not give any like puckering, you know, like bowing of the page. I need to get a hard surface underneath there. So I'm going to put that down there. I'm just going to press even harder. Okay. The only thing is, I don't want to mess with it if I can help it because I don't want this part right here to come loose. So I think I'm going to put a tab right here. I think my cat wanted me to leave the door open so he could get in the window in here and talk to the other cats. So there's the pocket. Here's the, the uh, two pockets here. And here's where the person can actually ride if they choose to. But it gives them a pocket, a pocket, and a pocket. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm going to put a tab right here, I think, so it lets them know that they can push this like this. Yeah. Now, the thing is, is I need to find ways to decorate this. So, I need to make tabs or, or journal cards that will go in here that will resemble this and bring it over here. You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm going to do. So, let me do that now. I need to first do the tab. So, I need one that is, I think I'm going to make a black tab. I want a black one to go. Oh, that's going to clash with it, though. No, it's going to sit up just barely, but it'll be fine, I think. The reason why I want to do a black tab is to bring the dark over here. Just like with my tags, it's going to go in here, or my journal cards is going in here. It's got to have this dark motif with a little blue like that and purple. So i got to figure that out. So, hopefully I don't lose y'all because it's already at 22 minutes. <laughs> Let's see, what do I have? Down here, I printed out a lot of stuff yesterday. I could, these are freebies that you can get at a website. I forget the name of the website. I had this stuff over here. Do I still have them over here? Or did I throw them away? I think I threw it away. Darn it. I was going to keep them so that it made it easier for me to let you know. <laughs> Anyways, if I can get around to remembering, hopefully, I don't forget. I'll put it in the description where you can find all these. Everything that's in here is a freebie, um, what do you call them, digital. It's a website this person made. Oh, my battery's about to die. So I'm going to be right back. <laughs> Got to get everything ready. Get the battery ready. So I'll be right back, y'all. 